Hello. Okay. Now, uh, in other words, A, where is it? Where is it? Uh, this one. Right? This one, huh? X over A, Y over B equals to 1. The A here represents the X intercept. The X intercept. So you, you look at the A here. Now I put 1, huh? I put 2. So the y intercept is two. Let's say the a equals to three. The y inter uh, the x intercept is three. Let's say four. The y intercept is four. Right? As the x intercept is four. So a here represents the x intercept. Then you may ask, hey, the a uh, one, two, three, four, can it be negative or not? We try, right? A negative. Huh? So this is A negative 1. So you see the line will cut at negative 1. Let's say the A is negative 2. It will cut at negative 2. When A is negative 3, the line will cut the x-axis at negative 3. So we say that the value of A is actually the x-intercept. x-intercept means where the line cuts the x-axis. Then how about this B, eh? B? Y over B. So the Y now is 2. Negative 2, sorry. The y now is negative 2. So I put the this one. Eh? Let's say uh, negative 4. The y intercept is negative 4. If I put the value of b as negative 5, I see that the y intercept is negative 5. Okay, so can it be positive or not? The y intercept. Okay, we'll try that. Eh? Pull back. Uh, this is positive one. Eh? This positive one. I make it two. Uh, this is y intercept is positive two. I make it five. Three, four, five. Okay, the y intercept is positive 5. So the equation in this form, the A represents the x-intercept. The B represents the y-intercept. So that is why the equation in this form is called the intercept form. Because this equation shows us exactly what is the x-intercept and what is the y-intercept. Now let's say uh, you can you can do some. Now you see I can only move one slider at a time. So you see here uh, the value of a maybe uh, I fix it as one, one. So the value of a is one. So the x intercept is one. Then when I change the y intercept, you see the x intercept here. Didn't change, it's still one, but the y intercept I can change smaller, smaller, negative, negative, and so on. Okay, so now uh, the question now is if I give you an equation in intercept form, can you draw the Can you draw the graph? Can you draw the graph? Let's say here.
Okay, let's say x over a plus y over b equal to 1. Okay, so now let's say I have a x over 3, y over y over negative 5. Okay, so can you can you draw this? Can you draw this line? Okay, right. So can uh, what you can do is you see that the x over three, so that means the x intercept is three. So I raise the x intercept. This is the x uh, one two three. So I put one dot here. X intercept is three. Then y intercept is negative five. So I put it. One, two, three, four, five. Then I put one dot here. Negative five. Okay. Then I take these two points. Y equals to negative five. And X equals to positive three. I just draw a straight line. Cross. So this represents this equation. This line represents this equation. Okay, now let's say, uh, let's say I want to do something like this. Eh? Okay. Okay, let's say I want to draw this line. Now, first of all, you want to make sure whether this line is in intercept form or not, right? Now, like this, uh, 2 over 5, x, 3 over 5, y, equal to 1. Although the right-hand side is 1, but the left-hand side is not x over something. So, in this form, you cannot, cannot draw you have to make sure that x over something. So now, this 2 over 5, you bring to the bottom of x, it becomes 5 over 2. Divide by 5 over 2 means multiply with 2 over 5. Multiply 2. Now the x, uh, divide by 5 over 2. Divide by 5 over 2 is the same as multiply with 2 over 5. So, but in this form, I can plot 5 over 2. The x-intercept is 5 over 2. So I take 5 over 2 is 2.5. 1, 2. Uh, this is 2.5. Then y-intercept is 5 over 3. 5 over 3 is uh, 1.66. 1, 1.66. Let's say somewhere here. Right? Somewhere here. So I mark the two points on the x-axis and the y-axis. Then after that, I join up the I join up the two points. So this line will be this equation here. Okay. This line, this this line here, will be this equation. This line here will be this equation. So how to draw the straight line given the intercept form? Or if it's not intercept form, we have to change the intercept form. Then you draw the straight line by plotting the x-intercept, y-intercept, then you join the two. That's all. That's how you draw the straight line. Okay. Then, uh, so afterwards, uh, uh, after the end of this lesson, I will WhatsApp you some question in intercept form. Then you draw. You draw, then you return me the... I see whether you know how to draw or not. Right? So now we move on to the equation of the straight line in gradient form. So this is the equation of the straight line in gradient form. Hmm? This is the equation. 
of the straight line in gradient form. So this is the equation in straight of the straight line in gradient form. Okay. So the equation of the straight line in gradient form has two parameters. The two parameters, they are M and C. When I say they are parameter means uh, I can actually adjust the value of M and C. Now in this graph here, in this graph here, I'm going to adjust the value of M and C, right? So that you can see how the graph change with the value of M and C. I start with maybe C first, then afterwards I start with M. Uh, and then afterwards I continue with M. So <clears throat> now this line slider here, this line here, represent the value of C, this line here. And the value of C is given here, okay? So this line is one, two, three, four, four point something. So you see the value is four point something, right? So let's say I change it to five, six. So the nearly six, uh, roughly about six like that. And you can see as I change the value, the Y intercept, the Y intercept here change, let's say, I change to seven. See the y intercept is seven. I change to one. Uh, one exactly one. So the y intercept is one. So this parameter C here represents the y intercept. It represents the y intercept, the C here. So if the C is one, the y intercept is one. Then can it be negative? The C, can it be negative? Let's say I move to the other side. Negative 1. Negative 2. Negative 3. Negative 7. Negative 7. So you see, as I change the value of C, the straight line actually move up and down. If the value of C is positive, then it is above the x-axis. The y-intercept is positive. If the value of C is negative, then the y-intercept is below the x-axis. The y-intercept is a negative number. Depending on what is the number. Let's say in this case, the C is negative 7, then you will cut at negative 7. Negative 8, then you will cut at negative 8. So actually, the value of C is the y-intercept. The y-intercept. Then, what is this value of M represents? Before, before that, I make the value of C smaller. Let's say it's 2. right? So the value of C is 2. Then, now I'm going to change the value of M. Now this M actually represents the gradient or the slope of the straight line. It means how slanting the line is. Let's say I take this M, got a very small value, 0 0.5 let's say. Then the line is not so slanting. Let's say the is 0 0.5. 0 0.24, then the line is not so steep. The slope is less. Let's say I increase the gradient of the line. Let's say 4. If the gradient of the line becomes 4, then the line becomes very steep. Very steep. But so far, the value of M is all positive. I make the M very, very big, then the line here become very, very steep. So M here actually controls the gradient of the line. 
the bigger the value of m, the steeper is the line. The greater is the slope. Some people, they call it slope. Some people, they call it the, the steepness of the line. Some say the gradient of the line. Now, whatever it is, whether you call it gradient, slope, or steepness, the bigger the number, the steeper is the line. The smaller is the number m here, the less steep is the line. Now, can this gradient be a negative value? So, I try to make this m negative 1. Okay? Not so steep and not very low also the line, the average. Uh, what is the difference between a positive M and a negative M? Now, if the value of M is negative, like it is now, the line is pointing towards northwest. North, like that. Then you tilt towards this side, northwest. Let's say if the M is uh, positive, the M is positive, then the line is pointing towards this side. This one is northeast, northeast. So positive or negative, whether the line is positive or negative, it is the difference in direction whether it's slanting this way or it is slanting the other way, positive or negative. Whether the number is big or small, that means the line is either very steep if it is big and not so steep if it is small, if the value of the gradient is small. So these are the two parameters. Okay, one more time. Huh? One more time. This one control the y intercept. This one controls the y intercept. What happened? Why I cannot? Oh, here, this one, sorry. Ah, okay. So uh, this C here, the C here, control where it cut the X axis. You see, I cannot change the two numbers simultaneously. So if I want to change, I only change the C. So when I change the C, the line is the lines they are all parallel. Parallel. Huh? The gradient didn't change. See, the gradient of the line is still the same. Only where it cuts the X axis, uh, sorry, where it cuts the Y axis or the y-intercept change. The gradient of the line didn't change, right? The gradient of the line, they are still the same. Okay. Now, if I change the value of m, and I didn't change the value of c, uh, let's say the c here is negative 2. The c is negative 2, right? And I change the value of m. You see the the point here cannot change. Only the gradient of the line change. So if you want a different set of lines, then you have to change the two numbers, M and C, then they really change, right? If not one change, one the other, one cannot change. Something like that. Now, uh, okay, uh, here first. I type here first. Uh, I type here. So what is the meaning of A? A here is actually the x intercept. It's actually the x intercept. What is the meaning of B? B in this line means the y intercept. How to draw this line? Uh, if you want to draw the line, hmm, then you do like that. You do like that, right? You plot the point on the x-axis, plot the point on the y-axis, then join. That's all. 
how to draw uh, this, this, this line here. You plot the point on the x-axis here. Then you plot the point on the y-axis, negative 5 here. Then you join up these two points. Then you get the straight line. Now, how to draw this y equal to mx plus c? Ah, very difficult, right? Very difficult. So, not difficult. I'm going to show you how to draw, let's say, y equals to 2x plus 5. How to draw this line, okay? I cannot this one. How to draw this line, huh? Okay, y equal to 2x plus c. So I take the value of C. C equals to 5. C equals to 5. So well, oh, that means uh, the, but actually this C uh, is actually what no? The C is actually the y intercept. The C is actually the y intercept. So in other words, if C is representing the y-intercept and the value of C is 5, so I want to know 5, uh, where is C equal to 5? Yeah. C equal to 5. Okay, now, can you follow so far? Now, yes. I'm, I'm teaching you how to draw the line by looking at the gradient form. So if you see the C is 5, then you dot on the x-axis there. Oh, sorry, the y-axis there at the point 5. Y-axis at the point 5. So that is the first point. Now how to draw the second point? Second point, you look at the M. M is actually the gradient is actually the gradient of the line. Now, in this case, the gradient is equals to 2. The gradient is equals to 2. Can you see the, the M here is 2? So, mm. two, uh, 2 is actually, if you put it in fraction form, 2 is actually 2 over 1. 2 is actually 2 over 1. Now, why I don't want to write 2, I want to write 2 over 1. And not only is 2 over 1, you know, it's positive 2 over 1. So, by splitting this M into two numbers, the bottom number is 1. So, I count like this. Huh? You see how I count. From this point, bottom number 1. Here, 1. Then I move up one, two, two steps. Okay, you see here uh, the gradient is two over one. So this is two, one, two, and this is one. So this is two over one. So if I want to draw this line, how to draw this line? I pick this point, I pick this point. Then I say, hey, draw the line, construct the line. Ah, this is the line. One more time, huh? How to start drawing this line y equal to 2x plus 5? First, you start with the y intercept. Y intercept is 5, then you dot, dot, huh? use your pencil, you mark the point y equal to 5 along the y-axis. Then you take the gradient, gradient m is 2. Gradient is, m is the gradient, m is 2. 2 is actually 2 over 1. So you put here 1, then you move up 2. Then you dot this 2 point. Actually, uh, you see here uh, 1, 2. 1, 2. Can you see that every Every point, I mean, not every point, every two one will be a point 
on this line. You see here, two, one, uh, can, two, one. Uh. Another thing I want to tell you is that this is positive two, one. Positive means uh, they go this way, uh, they go this way. Uh. Then negative means uh, you go the other way. One, two. So you want to make sure the, the negative gradient, so you move to the left-hand side. If positive gradient, you move to the right-hand side. Okay or not? Can you follow so far? Okay. Okay. Now, I have another line here. Let's say uh, y equals to negative negative uh, 4, 4 over 5. 4 over 5x uh, minus 8, something like that. Can you draw this line? Uh, y equals to negative 4 over 5x minus 8. Where to start? Can you tell uh, me? Minus 8. Ah, minus 8. Very good. So you start from C equals to negative 8. So uh, you take the point. I mean, of course, your... Uh, how to say? You take out a piece of paper, then you draw the axis, y axis, then you dot on negative 8. Okay. Then, uh, next step is what? M M equals negative oh. 4 over 5. Correct. Negative 4 over 5. Negative 4 over 5. How to how to draw this negative 4 over 5? Uh, it means the bottom how many steps? Bottom five steps. So oh. I start from eight here. I move to the left or I move to the right five steps. Left. Ah, move to the left because gradient negative mark. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five steps. Then after that, what should I do? Uh, move where? From here? Go up. Ah, correct. Move up. How many steps? One, eight, four. Four, okay. Move up four steps. Okay, so I take this point here. I join with this point here. Then I ask them to draw a straight line. So this line will be y equals to Now, if you are not sure whether you have drawn the correct line or not, you count another time. Five, then four. Okay. So I take this. From here, I count one. This one actually can use the substitution method. Ah, yes, okay. You use the substitution, you can only find out two points and you draw the line, right? Not? Now, if mm. you find two points, dot here, dot here, then you draw the line. As if your ruler is sagging a little bit, no? then the whole thing is out. However, if you use the gradient to plot the line, you look at what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Wait, uh. Okay, from here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. You see, my line is very accurate. Every, every five, four, you see, you know, 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. You see my line or not? All the, the gradient uh, can help me to make a very accurate line. Because if you substitute, uh, you only find two points. Then as you draw, then your line further and further, maybe they become a bit higher, a bit lower. But if you use the gradient method, you can actually plot many, many points and you draw a straight line. Your straight line is very accurate. You won't lari, atas lari, bawa like that. As you go further, or even if you go lower and lower, huh? I count here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. You see, very accurate all. All the points, huh? memang, they all on the same side. My straight line is accurate. What I mean is because you see the gradient, they follow four, five, four, five, four, five, or whatever. Like you count five, four, five, four. How you how, how you count it? But if you only have two lines to guide, two points to guide you to draw the line, then your your line as you go further and further, they go and deviate, deviate to the top or deviate to the bottom, and you don't get an accurate line. So uh so I have shown you how to draw this straight line. Uh, I will give you a few equations in this gradient form. Then you draw, then you show me. Okay, now? So if you, if you, it will be better if you use the square grid, lah, the paper with the square grid, then you draw and then you show me. If you don't have the paper with the square grid, then you just draw and you plot the points and you show me. Okay, so we have seven minutes left. I'm going to show you the permutation and combination. Okay. If, if you've forgotten how to draw, then you refer to the this video that I'm going to post in YouTube. Right? So now I'm going to show you the thing that you asked me earlier on. Huh? Now, discrete means one by one, one by one. There's no decimal point, there's no fraction. That is the meaning of discrete. Hmm? 